Hey guys, what's up, guys? Hello, teacher. Fine. How are you? Oh, wow, we are how many people? Lots of people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good, 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 good. How's everybody doing today? Very good. Very good. Great. It's good. Great, great, great. Okay. How about you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. I'm doing well. Um, just had some coffee as usual, so I'm really awake right now. <laughs> okay, so today's class is on speaking, and um, we're gonna focus on reading for today. Okay, so basically, um, what we're gonna do? We're gonna read two articles, all right, on reading, and then after that, we're gonna go into some current events issues and actually read um, something that's that was in the news uh, today or yesterday. I think it was today. Today, yes. So that's basically what the class is going to be like today. Okay? Okay. All right. Great. Um, before we start, anybody have any questions on anything that they want to know about? Yes. Yes? Uh, why uh, we have uh, 15 people when they hang out? <laughs> I don't know. So crazy. It's crazy, crazy. right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, I see this only in your classes. In other classes, we can yeah, get yeah. sometimes even more than nine people. Really? Yes. Yeah. I think oh. Kevin got your favor. <laughs> yeah, Google is very kind to you. It's because I'm, it's because I'm funny and fun, and <laughs> and, uh, and I'm kind of weird and crazy. Uh, <laughs> what? Another teacher uh, uh, also like this. Oh really? Yes, teacher. Nice, nice, good. Well. I like you guys, so thanks for coming. <laughs> okay, um, let's get started and stop me if you have any questions, okay? Okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to read is on different cultures, okay? So this, this one is called cultural heritage. So basically, um, everyone in this class is going to have a chance to read um, about any anything they want, okay? They can read any of the paragraphs they want, and it's basically on different cultures. We talk about Haiti, uh, India, France, and Spain, okay? So there's a whole bunch of things to read, all right? And then at the end, what we're going to do is uh, read, we're going to do some comprehension questions, okay? Reading comprehension questions at the end. Will you give us a comment after we uh, read the, read the passage yeah. or paragraph? You want to comment on how you read? Yeah, right. Yeah. Like how to separate the se whole sentence into different parts and uh, whether it is right to uh, have to to deal with the parts. Okay, so you kind of just want um, a comment on how you read and basically how to read the sentence properly, how to pronounce. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Yeah, definitely. Thank so, you. Okay, let's start off with. Uh, let's see. Let's start with uh, Servette. Yes. Can you read the f the title and then the first paragraph for us? Okay. World Heritage by Linda Baxter. If you think about World Heritage sites, you probably think of places associated with ancient art and culture, historical buildings and monuments. And of course, many of these are on the World Heritage List. Perfect. So this gives us an introduction about what the article is going to be about. So this is basically about World Heritage Sites. So we're talking about uh, ancient buildings, monuments that are all over the world and very, very famous. Okay. Uh, Aya, can you read the next paragraph? Yeah. Connection problem. Uh, Caroline, Luriso? You know the famous places like Eastern Italy, Angkor in Cambodia, or the famous rock city of Angkor in Belgium, or old city centers such as Rome in Italy, or Sanaa in 
Yemen. Or what? Yemen. Yemen or places of artistic or cultural significance, like the sto stony, Stonehenge, Stonehenge, Stone Circle in England, or the Sodilo, the Sodilo rock paintings in Kalahari Desert in Botswana. But the World Heritage List contains a lot of sites they are not so obvious. Some of them are well known. For example, the Galapagos Island, which inspired Darwin's theories of evolutions, of the Victoria Falls, waterfalls in Africa, and the Grand Canyon in the United States. Perfect. And can you read this last paragraph for us? Yeah. Let's look at, the, at a few of the more unusual sites on the World Heritage List and why it is important to per preserve them. Perfect, thank you. So, before we start reading about the heritage sites, has anybody ever been to any of these places mentioned? Um, the Colosseum yeah. in Rome? Where have you been? Tell me. I have been in the the, the waterfalls, no, the United States, the Grand Canyon. Okay, I haven't been there yet. <laughs> yeah. And my sister has been in, in the desert. Okay. Cool, cool, awesome. Has anybody been to the Galapagos Islands? No. No? I've I never been either. I really want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So let's read more about the World Heritage Sites in the world. Uh, so can we have Chu? Chu Jun? Yeah. Can you read uh, this and the first paragraph? Okay. Citadel of Haiti. Mm -hmm. These monuments were built at the end of the 19th century, when Haiti became independent and the many thousands of black slaves in Haiti were free for the first time. These ex-slaves built the monuments, which the World Heritage List describes as an a universal symbol of liberty. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, the Citadel of Haiti. Let's see if we can find a picture of it. Okay. Cool, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so let's see if we can find some pictures. So this is one picture of it right here. Very, very cool, right? So it's in the mountains, right? Um, this is another picture of it. All right, so it's very, very cool to look at. And to if you ever be, go to Haiti, all right? Cool, thank you. Can we have, uh, let's see, Johnny? Yes. Can you read the next one for us? Yes. Ruben Island in South America. Africa. This island, I'm sorry? South Africa. South Africa, yeah. yeah. This island, as you said, throughout the centuries, uh, has a prison, uh, a hospital, a military base, but it's probably most famous has a maximum security prison for political prisoners and then the 20th century. Nelson Mandela was the one of the most famous residents. The W. Eitel mm -hmm. says it represented the triumph of democracy and the freedom of oppression and racism. Perfect, perfect. So let's look at some pictures of this island. So everyone knows who Man Nelson Mandela is, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's very sick now, supposedly. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Teacher. Yes? Heritage, you can use only for this kind of heritage culture world, or you can use for money, too. Um, you can use, so money, okay. So the money in heritage is called inheritance. Okay, so if you get money from your relatives, it's called an inheritance. 
not the same as heritage, but it's the same, it's along the same lines, right? Inheritance. Yeah, inheritance. Okay. Okay. And okay. and um heritage can also be used for family. So I can for example for me, um my heritage is in the Caribbean. Like most of my my family is from the Caribbean. So that's where my heritage is. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. So this is a picture of Robin of uh, Robin Island in Cape Town, South Africa. I think it's a beautiful and wonderful view in this island from yeah, this me island. Too. I want to go, but I need money. <laughs> 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 so yeah, these are pictures of it right here. Nelson Mandela when he was a prisoner there. All right. I hope he gets better. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Next, can we have uh, Jose Guillermo, are you there? The Tarjali Himalayan Railway in India. This railway was opened in 1881 and is still operating today. It crosses a difficult area of mountain landscape and it is a great example of railway engineering. The WHL says that is the first and still the most outstanding example of a hill passenger railway. Perfect, perfect. So the way we pronounce this word is engineering. Engineering. Yes, perfect. Okay. Let's see a picture of the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway. Yeah, I have a question yes. is what what is about our uh, heel person to railway heel person railway what does um, it mean heel passenger railway so let's yeah. let's look at a picture of it so a hill passenger railway basically means that it's a it's a train but it goes throughout the hill like in the mountains Okay, so this is an example of it. You see? So it goes up the hill, and it's a passenger railway, it's basically meaning passengers or people go on the railway. Okay? Do you see? So this is the first time we got a railway built uh, on the mountain? Yes, I think this was the first mountain railway. Yeah. Okay, got it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Oh, that's an accident. We don't want to see that. <laughs> um, but yeah. Cool, right? Okay. Great. Remember, WHL stands for World... Uh, I think it stands for World Heritage List. Yes, World Heritage List. Okay? So these are all the famous places to go to. Next person, uh, Christoph. Yes. Uh, borders of France and Spain. This is an area of great natural beauty and uh, mountains have many interesting geological uh, formation, but it's also an area of small farms. People there still use a type of agriculture that used to be common in mountains, mountainous areas as uh, Europe, but has almost completely disappeared in modern times. The WHL has listed the site because it shows us about past European society through its uh, landscape of villages, farms, fields, upland, um, pasture, and mountains road. Perfect, perfect. Okay. So let's see a picture of the borders of France and Spain. Has anybody ever been there, borders of France and Spain? Or No? Borders? Yeah, like the borders basically means, uh, let's look at it on a map. Frontier. The frontier, basically. So like right here. I've been in Spain and France, but borders? The borders are the, the, where it crosses, where France and Spain intersect. So like, for example, this is a border. Where the, all the police are. You drive oh, your car in. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. So this is like the area right here. This is a national park in France. All right. That's a checkpoint of one of the borders of France and Spain. So if you were driving a car, the police will stop you here before you can enter into the next country. Okay. And this is a map of it. So this is the border right here of France and Spain. Right here. Okay, great. All right, next, talking about Brazil. I'm sure everyone here is from Brazil, right? <laughs> I'm from Brazil. Yeah? <laughs> Everybody from Brazil. Do you want to read this one? Can you read this one for us? Which one? This one. Okay. The city of Brasilia, Brazil. Brazil is a capital city that was created from nothing in 1956. The WHL calls it a landmark in the history of town planning. The different areas of the city and the buildings themselves were all designed at the same time so that they would harm, harmonize. harmonize with each other. Every part of the city shows the ideas of the planner and architect. Perfect. The architect the Brazil, the Brazilia, uh -huh. died uh, not so long time ago. This year, he's so famous. What's his name? He is um, Le, uh, uh, Niemeyer. Oscar Niemeyer. Oscar Niemeyer. Oscar Niemeyer. Yeah. Oh, okay, so he was a famous architect. So he basically yeah. created the city of Brasilia. Yeah, he's that very famous. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's let's look at a picture of Brasilia. I'm sure the Brazilians have been to Brasilia, right? Yeah. Yeah. Brazilian. The capital of Brazil. The capital of Brazil. Brazil capital. Let's see. Okay, so are these accurate pictures of it? Yeah, this oh, is yeah. Yeah. planet. Wow, that's actually very, very cool. I like this right here. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Yeah. A hundred and three years, I don't know. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Oscar Niemeyer, uh, if you go back for this picture, this yes, one? Oscar Niemeyer created this, this design, you know? So. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You Perfect. can definitely, you can definitely tell it's like architect. Yeah. He yes. created Brazil. Brazil. He created all the city is. How many people lived uh, live in uh, Brasilia? Uh -huh. How many people live in Brasilia? Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I don't know, but Brasilia is a city that um, kind of only for the politicals. Uh -huh. There are a lot of people, yeah, lot of people <laughs> nowadays that live there, but yeah. a lot of political leave there or people that like to work with this um, uh, goes for there to work with this. Okay, I see. Nice. So, well, I definitely want to go visit Brasilia at some point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be careful. It's a very dangerous place. It's okay. I, I, I live in New York. I live in New York City. So People hate Brasilia because our government, uh, you know, work there. So you can yeah. see a lot of Brazilian people uh, complaining about the Brazil. You know, <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, but I, I live in New York City, so I'm kind of used to dangerous. You know. <laughs> so. yeah, talking about dangers, that dangers like New York City is <laughs> made so funny because only the government, government and the, the politicals live there. So oh, I see, I see, I see. Kind of dangers. <laughs> so the police are as bad as the bad people. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. Right. Right. Okay, yeah, I'm not. Really I'm not used to that. <laughs> I'm not accustomed to that. Okay. No, not a totally different. Okay, uh, Luisa, can you read the next one for us? Sure. Uh, Dorset and East Devon Coast, United Kingdom. 
this part of the coast in southwest of England is famous for its fossils and is popular with science, scientists and amateur fossil hunters. The cliffs also show rock formation from millions of years ago. The WHL says that they have contributed to the study of earth science for over 300 years. Perfect, perfect. So let's see a picture of Dorset in East Devon Coast. It's an awesome place. Have you been there? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to be there. Me too. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Right here. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah. Nice it looks like a door. Yeah, right? It looks like a door to go through. Yeah, it's for arc. Arc. Yeah, like the arc. Like the arc, well, yeah. So, I guess, so this is a place where you can get fossils, right? Anybody ever seen Jurassic Park? Yeah. No, no. No, the, the movie Jurassic Park? You mean the movie? Yeah, the movie. Yeah, yeah I saw. Kind of, it's kind of like it, right? The scenery? The scenery in the pictures are kind of like it. Yeah, it is for sure. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So I got I got to visit all these places at some point. Okay. <laughs> all right. Next, who are we up to? Next is Mark. Okay. Alto Douro, Portugal. This is an area north of Portugal where wine has been produced for thousands of years. Nowadays, it is world famous for the port wine that is produced there. The WH, the WHL says that its long tradition of wine mark of wine making has produced a cultural landscape of outstanding beauty that reflects its technological, social, and economic evolution. Perfect. All right. So this is this one is about wine making. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. Sometimes you know my mic just does his own thing. <laughs> what right. is port wine? Is it something special? Yeah. Has anybody ever had port wine? Yeah. No. No. I guess it, it's definitely it's wine, but it's a specific type of wine to this region of the world. Which one? Sorry. Port wine. Oh, uh, like, I think it's really good. Too. A port wine, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's not good. It's so not sweet. good? Oh. <laughs> so sweet, so sweet. <laughs> so I guess, but I guess this is like the wine country, right? You see the pictures? Yeah. So this is where the wine is, or the grapes, I guess, are grown. This wine is so good to use to make desserts. Oh, yeah? Like what? Yes, yeah. I, I don't know what kind of dessert, but because it's so sweet and it's not so dry, mm -hmm. not so dry, it's uh, softy than the others, and so, sweet, so they use a lot to make desserts. Okay. Yeah, I eat um, the uh, a beef for fried beef with um, with wine. Wow. Good. Fried beef. Yeah, fried beef. Oh, that's cooked sounds... with uh, wine. And maybe it's pot wine. I don't know. That sounds delicious. <laughs> so I guess this is the wine right here. Okay. Cool. All right. Awesome. Where are we up to now? Honduras. Moving to Honduras. Okay. Next we have Muhammad. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um. So I will start. Rio Plateno reverse Honduras. The WHL says that this site is one of the few remains of humid tropical forest in Central America. This is mountains or uh, this mountains area on the Caribbean coast with uh, many different species of planets and animals. The people who have always lived there still have the same traditional lifestyle. Perfect. So, and this word is pronounced mountainous. Mountainous. Okay. Yeah. Great. So let's see. So this is the remains of a humid tropical forest. 
Let's see how this looks. Mm -hmm. Every everything looks the same. <laughs> uh, it's a great river. Maybe it's Amazon. <laughs> like Amazon. <laughs> yeah, like the jungle. Yeah, it's like the jungle. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like the tropical forest. So we have like, you know, tropical tigers. I think it's a dangerous place. Maybe they have cocktails yeah. in the river and. Why is it a dangerous place? <laughs> yeah, in the river, maybe they have some dangerous fishes or other kind of big animals like cocktails. Oh yeah, know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I guess there's like a lot of dangerous animals there, but I mean it's nature, you know. We need to become one with nature. <laughs> wow. Parrot, nice. Bye. That's cool. I would like to live there. Yeah, right? Me too. I'm tired of living in the city. <laughs> really difficult to accustomate because if you live in, in a city yeah. and decide to live in another place like that, so it's really difficult, obviously. Yeah, it is a really difficult uh, transition. Yeah. I don't think that I can live in some place like that. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I am accustomed in the city, you know? Uh, yeah. I born in the city and grew up there. Yeah. So. I think I could live there for... A little bit, and then I'll have to come back to to like civilization. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Nicholas, can you read the next one for us? Yes. Uh, it's um, Sibing National Park, Ethiopia. Sibing National Park was one of the first sites to be listed in 1978. It is one of the highest mountain areas in Africa, and the WHL calls it one of the most spectacular landscapes in the world. It is also important for its wildlife. Rare animals like the Galada baboon and the simian fox live there. It is also um, it is, sorry. Mm -hmm. It is also important for its wildlife. Rare animals sorry. <laughs> it is also the only place in the world where you can find the Wellia ibex, a type of goat. The population of this animal is getting smaller and smaller. That's why the site is now on the list of World Heritage in Danger. So the World Heritage list isn't only about ancient monuments and buildings. It's also concerned with technology, natural beauty, wildlife and traditional ways of life. Perfect, thank you. So let's see a picture of this national park in Ethiopia. These are all places I need to visit <laughs> when I when I get the money or win the lottery. <laughs> I have to win the lottery first. Oh wow! Okay, this is very different than other places. I like this place. Wow, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh wow! It looks like uh, the Garden of Eden. Is <laughs> in the uh, tropical um, district. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is true nature. I can't believe this is actually planet Earth. Yeah, right? <laughs> we can live a wildlife here. Yeah. Let's see, maybe, is, I think this is the baboon they were talking about. See that? Anybody ever see the Lion King? <laughs> <laughs> No? Okay. No. Just me. <laughs> you see it? You see it, Lisa? Everybody saw that I think one. it's it's hard to believe that we humans are involved from these kind of animals. animals. Yeah, right? Isn't that isn't that amazing? Evolution. Did you just see this before? Did I what? Animal? I've never seen a baboon no. Oh, okay. <laughs> never seen one. Let me see that. I want to see the fox they were talking about. I think it's called the simian fox. I 
it's not so special, right? Mm. Just like other kind of uh, fox. Yeah. All so, over the world. It looks a lot less dangerous than other foxes. <laughs> right. The body could actually be of a dog. Yeah. Right. I have um when I was in when I was in Argentina. Uh, from Argentina. You're from Argentina. Mm -hmm. Cool. I was there last year for six months. Uh, when I was there, I saw a red fox. I was in Patagonia, um, and I saw a red fox. Um, I'm gonna show you a picture of it as soon as I get Johnny. it. Johnny, oh, <laughs> I see my name in that. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at one more picture. The Walia ibex, a type of goat. Mm. One ibex. Ibex or ibex. Yes. It's like a wolf, yeah. No, look at. Oh. See, that's the that's the goat. So it's kind of like a sheep with horns. A sheep. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. Yeah. Goats kind of scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. They, they look really, really weird. <laughs> yeah. they look <laughs> Imagine you see if this animal uh, face to face, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, they can ram you. Yeah, they can <laughs> ram you exactly. Yeah, goats are kind of weird. I'm gonna stop looking at them. Okay. <laughs> um, wait. Let me show you a picture of this though. Wow. So that's I saw that fox when I was in the woods. Yeah, the fox. Where did you take this picture? I took it in uh in uh Patagonia. Oh, in Ushuaia. How was that? It was cold. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it's like it's like the last city in the world, right? It was in a zoo, or no? I was just I was just having an asado in the woods. So yummy. Yeah. How did you feel when you saw it? They were scared of us. Oh. They were scared. They're scared of humans, but they like wanted my steak. So, <laughs> did you taste? Did you taste uh, Covero Patagonico? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah, it it's delicious. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's uh, read some questions now. Some answers and some exercises to the questions. So the first question is: Why is the citadel of of Haiti included on the list? Who remembers? Oh no! Mm -hmm. A lot of tasks to remember. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I think it has to do with uh, yeah. Sorry. It has to do with uh, with B because uh, the first slaves were freed. I think. Nice, nice. One B represents freedom. So we'll check the answers at the end, okay, to make sure it's all right. Number two, why is the Darjeeling Railway listed? It was difficult to build. B. I guess it doesn't make sense. A makes the most sense to me. Why? <laughs> because, because it's difficult to build. It yeah, doesn't make be, it beautiful. Because, because you, you didn't build it. <laughs> because you didn't no, build it. If something beautiful, uh, difficult oh, okay. doesn't make it beautiful. Uh, it doesn't matter. Any bosses carry lots of passengers, but they are not in the WHL list. So okay. A, A makes the most sense to me. I don't remember. That there was lots of text. Okay, so let's say B and A for now. So let's say B and A, all right? We'll check at the end, all right? I think the, the right answer is B. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah, two is B. Okay. Number three, what is the most important reason for listing the area on the borders of France and Spain? See? Uh, no. We can learn about geology of Europe. I think the, I think A yeah right I agree with Robert because they, they use uh, yeah there are a lot of fossils there. 
Okay. B is. So no one thinks it's B, or who thinks it's B? Uh, I well, think I it's well. a multiple choice um, um, question or just a, way, a unique, unique uh, 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 yeah, most choice. Of, yeah. Most of sites uh, are like, so uh, beautiful. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it's B. It's B. I think, Perfect. I, I think it's oh. said they, they, I'm sorry, they grew vegetables using uh, our methods of agriculture, so I would go with A. You would go with A. Yeah, so remember, we have to go with what we read in the passage. All of these are are definitely true, but it's according to what the passage said. So the passage talked about the geology. I think the question is, uh, what I is the most be. important reason? So we could only choose no, uh, only one answer for our question. Yeah. Um, this so is an area of great natural point. beauty. And uh, the mountains sorry. have many interesting geological formations. Uh, what about uh, show us uh, about past uh, society? About society? Yes, it was. Uh, here you have. Uh, the Daju has listed the site because it shows us uh, about past European society through a landscape of village farms, fields, uplands. So I think it's A. Do you think it's A? Because that was the reason to list. Good. Good deduction. Perfect. So number three is A. Really? Because yeah. I think in the, the whole paragraph, the main um, theme is in the first sentence. So maybe A is, a B is the right answer. Because, yeah, this is an area of great natural landscapes. Yeah. Do you already give the answer in the... So the, the question the question says, what is the most important reason for listing the area on the borders of France and Spain? So we have to look for the most important reason for listing yeah, it. Is the correct listing. No. The no. most important reason for listing. And it says right here that the World Heritage List has listed the site because it shows us about past European society. Okay? Yeah, right. Through yes. through its through its geology. But the most important reason is that it tells us about the history of Europe through geology. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, it is. All right, great. All right, number four. Why is Brasilia listed? A, A is an interesting example of town planning. Well, they said they planned the whole city at the same time, mm -hmm. nothing. The everything is yeah. harmonized with each other. Yeah. Yes. So yes. to have an harmony. So the WHO calls it a landmark in history of town planning. So the answer is town planning. Okay. Uh, yes. Right. It's an interesting yeah. example yeah. of town planning. The decision was uh, the city was planning mm -hmm. uh, to be the the Brazil. Yeah, capital. So. Yeah. Great. This one is C. You can find fossils. Yeah. So why is the Dorset and East Devon coast listed? Because you can find fossils there. Everybody agree? No. What do you I think? Agree. Mm, I agree. I think the mm, wildlife is unusual. No. Mm. So let's I look back. Know. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, yeah. It's hard to remember all this. Of course, yeah. Landma <laughs> landmarks. So let's read this last sentence for me. The VHL says oh. that they have contributed to the study of Earth science sciences for over 300 years. Great. Right. So, number five will be B. It's important for scientific study. But except for cells, any other things can be used for scientific study. Mm -hmm. So I think C is more accurate than B because except for their scientific studies and their meters, they also could find the fossils there and for their entanglement. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But remember, we have to go by what the paragraph says about the World Heritage. And this is the only one that's ever listed or talked about this site or a site being important for scientific study. Yes, but additionally to uh, finding a fossil is a great place to study geology. Yes, exactly. But remember, it's the only one that mentions about they contributed to the study of earth sciences for over 300 years. So the most important say, important thing is WHL says what and exactly. listed for what. Exactly. So whatever the WHL says, that's why it's the most important. All right, so we have all this extra information which contributes to why the WHL says it's important. So this is the main idea, that it's contributed to the study of earth sciences through fossils, through wildlife, right? So these are like supporting details, and this is like the main idea. Does that make sense? Yes, yes it is. Yeah? Great. Okay. And number six, why is the Simeon National Park on the list of world heritage in danger? Maybe see because, of the, because of the natural landscape. Because of the animals that live there. Yeah, because of the animals that live animals. there. Uh -huh. the, the letter A. So they spoke about fox. And the fox, the tiger. Uh, the tiger. Okay, let's look back at the paragraph. Rare animals like this. I think. Glad about one. Yeah, about the wildlife. Yeah, or uh, animals. Okay, great. So the WHO calls it one of the most spectacular landscapes in the world, and it's also important for its wildlife. So let's see. I would I would go with A as well, mostly because it yes. talked most about the animals that live there more than the landscape. So yes. perfect. So six is A. Great. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, let's see. Now let's see if we can define some of these words. All right. So these are the words here, and these are the definitions of the words. Okay. And we have to match the words with the definitions. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first one, I think I stopped off with Nicholas. Can you do number one for us? Uh, what? I'm sorry. Number one, and then figure out which one of these words. Okay. Uh, something that means features belonging to the culture of a particular society. Um, such as traditions, heritage. Languages or buildings which still exist from the past and which have a historical importance. Heritage. Yes, perfect. Number one is heritage. Okay. Number two, uh, Romulo. Romulo. Yes. Right. Okay. Uh, means gradual development. Uh, let, let me let me find out. Yeah. Evaluation. Yeah. Perfect. Evolution. Three. Evolution. E evolution. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Uh, let's see. Vladimir, can you number three? Yes. Two. Something means to keep it as it is, especially in order to prevent it from decaying or being damaged or destroyed. I think it's to preserve. To preserve. Perfect. Good. Okay, number four, servet. A blank is a sign, shape, or object which is used to represent something else. It's symbol, I guess? Yes, good, symbol. Two, number five. Uh, doubt is a very great success, achievement or victory, or a feeling of great satisfaction or pleasure caused by this. I think the right answer is the last, the last word, trumphy. Yeah, Tri triumph. Triumph. Okay. Yeah, okay, great. So. so a triumph is a very great success. Great. 
Uh, number six, Johnny. Uh, outstanding. Yeah, means excellent. Clear, very much better than what the usual. Great, perfect. Number seven, Christoph. Uh, geology, the study of the rocks and similar substances that make up the Earth's surface, especially in order to understand its structure, origin, etc. Great, perfect. Number eight, Luisa. Uh, landscape is a large area of countryside in, um, in re relation to its appearance. Great, perfect. Number number nine, Muhammad. Muhammad. Oh, okay, uh, Nicholas, number nine. Yes. Um. If something is a building or place, hello. Okay. Hey, Muhammad. Are you there? Yeah, I will. I will answer the next one. No issue. Okay, great. Nicholas, continue number nine. Uh, is a building or place that is easily recognized, especially one which can use, which you can use to judge where you are. Um, mm. um, landmark. Landmark. Perfect. And Mohammed, um, number ten. Yes, uh, I think it's fossils are bones, shells, or shapes of planet or animals which have been prevented in rocks, ice, or ice or earth for a very long periods. Great, perfect. Okay. All right. Cool. Great. So, did you guys like this uh, article? Yes, a lot. Yes. Good. So we should all try to visit all these places before we die. <laughs> before we got money. <laughs> or we it's we easier to money. die. Or we should rob a bank and, yeah. you know, do that stuff. Okay. Please call me <laughs> if you want to rob the bank. <laughs> it will be easy. It will be easier to die. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Cool. Now we're going to read uh, an article on health, okay, for the next 10 minutes of class, and then we're going to discuss it, um, and then we'll be done for today. So this article is on washing hands, all right, and the health behind it. Okay, and this article was uh, written today. So can you have, Romulo, can you read the title and then the first two lines for us? Yeah, sure. If you wash hands properly, study finds. Did you wash your hands properly after you used the, the toilet? Probably not. A new study suggests. Perfect. Uh, and Vlad, Vladimir? Yeah. Can you make it bigger? Please? Yes. Okay, great. Researchers discreetly watched uh, <laughs> three. <laughs> Yeah, three thousand. Three thousand. As uh, well, seven hundred. Seven hundred and forty-nine people. <laughs> Sixty percent of them, women, after they used public toilets in a Michigan college town. Overall, ten point three percent did not wash their hands at all, and two point eight percent used no soap. The remainder did use soap, but only 5.3% washed for longer than 15 seconds, soap or no soap. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, proper washing means rubbing vigorously with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Wow. Right. <laughs> so basically, basically, they're saying people are pretty disgusting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Servet, can you read the next paragraph for us? Yes. Men did worse than women. Almost 15% of them did not wash at all, compared with 7.1% of women. People were more likely to wash their hands properly if there were motion, dedication, faucets. A clean sink or a sign encouraging the practice. Right. 
<laughs> and Chu, can you read the next paragraph for us? Okay. The authors acknowledge that the presence of even discreet observers could have affected behavior, probably encouraging more hand washing. The study appeared in the Journal of Environmental Health. Great. And the last paragraph, uh, Johnny? Okay. 48 million people a year get sick from contaminated food, said the lazy author. Carl Pick. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce yeah, Borch, <laughs> Borch Grevink, I think. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, an associate professor at Michigan State University. And the CDC says 50% would not have got sick if people had washed their hands properly. Do as your mom said, wash your hands. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So what do you guys think about this article? Do you think it's true? People yes, aren't washing hands. Unfortunately, it's true. Unfortunately, it is true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but surprisingly, I was expecting to see more people mm -hmm. who who does who don't wash their hands. The percentage is not too high. Yeah, the percentage isn't too high actually. I thought it would be a lot more people, but yeah. but still, I mean, any any percent of people not washing their hands is like pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we should uh, enhance their washing efficiency because it's crazy for me to wash uh, hands for almost 20 seconds. Usually in the public toilets they have too many people, they're crowded and uh, I think other people couldn't wait uh, couldn't wait for you for 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I don't want to trouble others to waiting for so long time. So I usually I just work, wash my hands for just maybe ten seconds. I don't okay. know, maybe mm -hmm. shorter than ten sure seconds. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, we should definitely um, everybody should practice washing their hands for at least twenty seconds to avoid, you know, getting sick from other people. Especially when you, um, I know when I go out to like bars and clubs. Um, no one ever like stays long in the bathroom because the bathroom is pretty gross by itself. <laughs> but um, usually it's it's good to wash your hands just because to avoid spreading germs, you know, to avoid getting sick. Uh, but today um, the, uh, they have uh, another product which called uh, Scrutiny or other kind of name. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, Kind of water can uh, can clean your hands before you get uh, dinner or or, uh, or other kind of foods. Yeah, I know so, you're talking. It's like hand sanitizer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So the any everybody like know what hand sanitizer? Yeah, it's like the gel. So everybody yeah. knows what hand sanitizer is. Yes. Yeah. On my um, on my campus in college, they have like all these different stations like if you go into a building before you go into class um, there's like a hand sanitizer machine right there it's like 99 it's like soap a little bit uh, let me show you a picture so this is like a picture of one right here the Purell machines yes I oh, don't yeah. know whether it is really works because you know we just uh, use some thing like water and uh, uh, yeah you oh, oh yes you use them to wash your clo uh, hands but actually I don't know what is the function of this water so I yeah. have a little bit doubt with this if it works efficient. or not yeah. yeah it's efficient yeah yeah well. Um, the reason why, like a lot of these, uh, a lot of these hand sanitizers are popping up on college campuses, is because college students like me um, don't wash their hands because we're always in a rush. <laughs> so um, can it's, I nice, it's nice to have like something on the go like this that you can walk with, and you know, use it. In in Argentina, everyone's using them after the swine flu. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is a picture. I'm conscious. 
think in China, girls use uh, sanitizer more frequently. But you you can you couldn't imagine a boy just uh, pick out uh, sanitizer from oh, yeah. no, older from that. his bags. So <laughs> <Yeah>. it's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, boys don't do that. I mean, I don't do that. I don't. Ha I don't carry like sanitizer with me. But if I see a machine like this on campus, it's it's a lot easier just to go up to it and put your hand under it and automatically get it. You know, it's the same machine that you find in the malls and you know exactly yeah places like that. Exactly. So I use these machines all the time because I don't have to carry it around with me. I just put my hand just put my hand under it and. The, it automatically comes out. So, yeah. especially if you use the public transportation all, all day, yeah. you know, so yeah, you need exactly. a machine like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> because it, uh, gel, uh, gel and alcohol, it's not enough. I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the hand sanitizers are actually a little bit better than the uh, than than soap and and water. Um, yeah. It supposedly kills like ninety nine point nine 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 percent of germs. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you the think is that it's mm -hmm. at all uh, effective enough? Because uh -huh. when you wash your hands with soap and water, mm -hmm. it's kind of you get rid of the germs. But yeah. when you don't say something, it stays on your hands. You don't get rid of it. Maybe it kills the bacteria, but it still. I feel like I use them after like cleaning my hands under yeah. water and soap. Then okay. these things. Okay, so you don't you don't just use sanitizer. You like you wash your hands with with soap and water, and then you use the sanitizer. Yes, when yeah. I when I see them, I don't see them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess that's like pretty like good way to keep clean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's double protection. Yeah, double protection exactly. <laughs> Triple check. <laughs> In a in a McDonald's nearby the place I live, uh, there's a sign on the sanitizer that says, uh, "Please use after washing hands." Mm, yeah, so that's what the article was talking about. If you if you see signs, it encourages people to wash their hands more. Um, and yeah, if you see signs or if somebody is in the bathroom with you, you don't want them to see that you haven't washed your hands after you know come off the toilet. So, <laughs> so that's why people uh, people tend to wash their hands when there's other people in the room. Um, otherwise, no one's going to want to touch you or shake your hand or anything. All right. All right. We are going to stop there for today. Any Anybody have any last-minute questions before we wrap up? Do you have a more class today or no? Uh yes, I have one at twelve and one a.m. like in like ten hours. <laughs> so it's like or nine hours. Yeah, it's three o'clock now. Three p.m. where I am. So in nine hours. We discuss it about two hours. Yeah. It's game is conversation as well. Yeah, it's speaking and conversation. Oh, okay. Yes, I have two classes. So I have one speaking and then one conversation. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys. Thank you, teacher.